boss Ain't nothing to it What is finally up you guys? It has been four or five months, something like that. But I've been so busy y'all. I've been busy with school, work, summer school, just some of everything. So I'm finally back and a little bit more active. So I wanted to do this um, hair tutorial for you guys. And this is a follow. And this is a faux lock. Why can't I see it right? Faux lock. Faux lock. Faux locks. Yeah. This is a faux lock tutorial. And I believe these are called the Bohemian faux locks. The ones with the curly ends. So I wanted to show you guys how I achieve them. And they're pretty simple. If you just take your time and be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Um... I was rushing a little bit. Um, I don't know if I recorded that part, but I was rushing a little um, for time's sake because I had other things I had to do. And um, just be patient with it. It does take time. It takes a long time, actually. I think it took me, I know I split it up into two days. So one day I did six hours, the next day I think I did six or seven hours. And that was it. And actually my hair is about three weeks old now and I'm just not recording this um but I've just been so busy and I redid the just the front part of my hair um which didn't take long at all so yeah I hope you guys enjoy so I'm starting with freshly washed hair I don't have any product in my hair I feel like this is the best way to go for faux locks or braids or any type of protective style, just go without product. Like if you put any type of oils in your hair, it's not gonna last. Like my faux locks will probably be sliding off my head. So starting with my hair like this, and I have about six packs. Well, first I'm putting my hair up like this, like this. But for the hair, So I got five packs of this type of hair. This is um, model model crochet hair because I'm doing like the bohemian faux locks. So this is like curly at the ends. You can see it better like this. It looks like this at the end. So I'll be using this to braid with. And I bought five packs of those. My head is pretty small so I don't know if I'm going to use all of them. I do want a lot of full locks, but I'm not sure if I'll use all of them. And for wrapping the full locks, I have Expressions hair. And I have four packs of this. And this is pretty long, though. It's super long. So I usually cut this in half and then have it in half and just use it like that. I'll show you as I go. But this hair is super long so i have four packs of those and both packs of hair are um color number two which is darkest brown which is my hair color it's super dark brown so that's the color i'll be using and i started to use like light brown and dark brown and a little blonde but i think i'm gonna do that later so what you need for faux locks is of course the hair you need scissors a lighter yes i'm using a candle lighter but a lighter is a lighter i have matches too so matches and i have bobby pins scrunchies comb edge control um you can use any edge control i'm just using the argan oil perfect edge edge control and i don't know it's fine for me, I guess. It's not the best, but I mean, it works. So I have that and I have something for my edges. This is actually a um, eyebrow thing, but I use it for my edges. So I have all of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this um, expression here in half because it's way too long. My faux locks will not be that long. 
I do want them long, but we'll see as I go. So I'm gonna use my scissors and just cut it. You can use any brand of hair you want. This is just the brands I use and what they have available at the beauty supply stores out here where I'm at. Hair can get tangled so freaking quick. Let's see. So, put all of these here, my wrapping hair. And I don't know the exact size I want my faux locks, but however the first one goes, that's how all of them will be. So if the first one's fat, they all may be fat. If the first one's small, they all may be small. But they don't have to be perfect. So usually some people, um, they part theirs as they go. And I started doing that when I first started doing faux locks, but I found out that just grabbing and go works better for me. Like just pick up a piece and braid like that works best for me. And it looks better, it looks more natural. I mean, everybody knows it's faux locks, but it looks better in my opinion. So I'm gonna start off with the back first and do like half the back and then I'll start doing the perimeter. I always do that just in case I have somewhere I have to go. So I have one piece of the model model crochet hair. And I'm going to, let me just turn on. So go ahead and get like two bobby pins or so. And I'm just gonna grab a piece. I do have mirrors, but I mean, it doesn't matter. The part doesn't have to be perfect. And I find the back to be the hardest Actually, the whole perimeter is the hardest for me personally because mine is so, my perimeter is so short. So I'm body peeing that up. Get the hair, comb it out. I'm using my hands because it's so short. And I feel like this is a nice piece. So I'm going to take my hair and I hold it like this. And then I'm going to grab, if you don't know how to braid with um, weave, then um, I'll talk you through it. So I'm braiding, I put, put it, hold it like this and grab it and put your real hair in the middle. And then you start braiding like a normal braid. Start off sort of tight and braid like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all, because it's going to get wrapped and you don't have to braid the whole thing down. Some people like to braid, they like to braid the whole head and then go back and wrap it. But I like to um, braid and wrap, braid and wrap. It's just easiest for me. I usually braid the perimeter all the way down since it's so short. So do it like that. See? Curly at the end. And then I'm going to take my expression hair. I'm just going to take a little bit, not a lot. You don't need a lot to wrap. Pull it. I think this is a good amount. And take some of it off this is good so I have about this amount of hair for wrapping it's pretty thin so it looks like a lot but it's not so when you're wrapping the faux lock you want to leave about this much out I'm going to show you like when you place it down leave a little bit out so you can have so you can grip it and when you wrap it around, it won't unravel. You know what I mean? So you have this, like this is the braid and leave a little piece out. So when you wrap it around it, it's secured like this. So if you go in and you don't, you don't place a little piece of hair right here, it's going to unravel and it's going to probably look sloppy. So just have a little piece out and you'll be okay. So. I'm going to place this, have my little piece out, 
I'm going over. So if you have soft hair like me, you might want to not start all the way at the root. I start a little bit below it and then wrap down and wrap a little up and then come back down. I'll show you. The back is always so hard. So I'm wrapping down. But my hair is so silky. So I'm going to go back up and make sure I secure my roots. So this won't slide out of my head. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. So once you got that root, you wrap this. Everybody does their faux locks different, so whatever you prefer, really. But had I had oil in my hair, this really would have been sliding. So I'm going to turn around. Okay. So I'm wrapping this and just wrapping. You want to do it tight. If you do it loose, it's going to come down pretty quick and unravel. So do it tight. And if you don't want, like these crochet things are pretty long. So if you don't want your faux locks to be long, you can always cut it. That's how we have the scissors. So you don't have to go all the way down. But just be patient and just wrap. Just twirl it around. Wrap it around. Turn it around, wrap it around. So. And it's pretty snug at the roots, and that's what we want. It's going to be tight. If you don't want it to be tight, then I don't know what to tell you. They have to be tight. You can also um, wrap with, what's it called? Marley hair. That's really coarse hair. And it looks, um, almost looks like real hair, real dreading hair. So, yeah, it'll look more natural, but I like this better. And sometimes my faux locks, um, depending on how I twist it, like how I wrap it, They'll start to curl up, which is fine. I like when they do that. They look more natural. So if they do curl up, that's okay. But if you don't want them to curl up, then just be careful of how you're wrapping. But I like okay, it. Okay, so now I'm towards the end. So I'm taking my lighter. And not only just like the end but also like come up here and like that too so everything can just stay in place you can also use um super glue but i like to use super glue when i'm doing lighter faux locks like my platinum blonde ones i've done if you follow me on instagram then you know what i'm talking about so yeah so this is what i mean when they curl up sometimes which is cool and that's fine with me i like when they curl up not all of them, but some of them. It's pretty cool. I'm just burning it. So yeah, first full lock. It's pretty long, but um, I'll go in and I'll cut cut on some of it. So I'm gonna do one more.
Okay, this is what I have so far. Now I'm going to start on the front.
okay so this is what i have so far and i have not done the top part i did the sides and the back part and y'all it is day two i had to go to sleep because i was tired last night and um i was whispering a little bit in the last clip because my friend was asleep so i didn't want to disturb her while she was asleep and i was tired so i was just like i'll just wake up and do it tomorrow so i already did this so i have to do the top part and i feel like it'd be easy for me to show you how to do the top then the back and also i forgot to use this in the last clip right here i think it was this first one right here but i have to redo it anyway so make sure you use this i don't really use it in the back i use it more so in the front in the middle because you can really see that part but it does help to grip though i didn't even think about that at first but it helps to grip it so now i'm a part use my hands use my fingers to part it because it don't have to be perfect so this I think that's good <sighs> I've been doing this for so long y'all I'm ready to be done get about this much um, edge control basically grease your scalp with it <laughs> in other words me a little more you make it stiff and then like the for the ones in the front you see how this um how much hair I got I like to bring it closer when it's time for me to braid it so it'll last longer so my edges won't look crazy after like a week or so even though i'm not gonna have this up long but yeah. so i'm taking my curly pieces Braiding it. The braid doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's going to see it. And that's enough for that one. And then get some of the expressions hair. I like to use expressions in a um, connect along because it doesn't last as long. It's real thin too. It's just and remember to like save a little piece like this and place it on top like this and wrap it. And if your hair is soft like mine, you might want to um, start where the braid is and then go up to the root.
and later i'm gonna show y'all how i extend my faux locks i'm not gonna do it to all of them i'm gonna do it to some of them like this like it's a long curly piece and i don't want all of these curly pieces i'm gonna cut some but some of them are already um extended let me find one See, that's why you have to cut them because they start to get tangled. This one, I extended it and made it longer and it's a little wavy. So, Okay, you guys so i'm not sure if i mentioned this why do i keep saying that <sighs> okay you guys i'm not sure if i mentioned this throughout the tutorial or if i said it at all or what but you do need to oil your scalp when you're wearing protective styles like this or your scalp will get super dry and you'll get like super small bumps that'll irritate you and itch really bad and you'll be tempted to pick at them so you need to oil your scalp while you have styles like this or box braids or any type of protective style you need to oil your scalp it's very important and it's important for hair growth and dryness so the oil that i've been using um since i've had my faux locks in is this oil and i can't even see if it's focusing because i don't have my glasses on but this is the main choice um is it Okay, this is the Main Choice Growth Oil, and it helps to support natural growth and retention. And I love it. It smells real good. Keeps my hair oily. Not like oily to where it's like, you know, greasy. I mean, if you use it every day, then of course, but don't use it every day. I say to use it about once a week or twice a week, but I think once a week you'll be okay. And um, this is not my first time using this. I've used this before. And I think it helps my hair grow. Um, so yeah, or your scalp, very important. Peace out. <laughs>